Hey guys, surprise. <laughs> it's time for the question of the week. I know I this is Thursday and I usually do these on Friday, um, but I didn't do one last Friday and that's because it was thunderstorming here and raining all day and we know how my Wi-Fi sucks even on a good day. <laughs> so <laughs> I wasn't gonna take any chances with that. But so anyway, I'm going to do it today and I'm going to do another one tomorrow. And this actually works out perfectly because um, today's question and tomorrow's question tie into each other. And I've been getting both of them a lot from various people through various means. And so I thought this was perfect. I just do two days in a row of question of the week and tomorrow's question kind of follows and builds on this question. So thank you for watching. Today's question is why would someone choose not to be with their twin flame? And if you've been following my videos or know my teachings or anything, you know, I always say that, you know, you can get to a point, um, you know, where you can then choose to be with your twin flame. You can have a physical relating experience with your twin flame if you choose it. And I guess for me saying that a lot, I've been getting a lot of questions with people asking why in the hell would somebody choose to not be with their twin flame if they have the choice, right? And I know because if I was right where you guys were, are, and um, I, all my students were right where you guys are, some still are, and you know, people are on varying degrees of their journey, but yes, there is that point when you first kind of are starting this journey before you're really aligning and balancing where, I mean, you can't think, you couldn't even fathom being with anyone else. I get that. I totally do. But here's the deal. See, in order to even get to the point where you can choose to be with your twin flame, where you can be with your twin flame physically and permanently at all, um, without the drama and all of that, um, you need to you get get to a place where you don't want to be with them, right? Like, I mean, that's the energetic space you have to get to. Um, you get to the place where it doesn't matter if you're with them or not, and that's when you can choose to be with them. You can't choose to be with them before that that space and expect them to be there for good and to have like a loving, calm, you know, peaceful, relating experience with them. It just can't happen. You have to get to the space energetically where it doesn't matter to you if they're there or not. And I call that energetic space meh. And so when you get to that space, um, you know, it doesn't matter if your twin flame is right next to you or you know, on the other side of the planet or not even in physical form. It doesn't matter because in that space of meh, you are feeling like um, you're feeling that, you know, you, you know, you know that your twin flame is there. You, and I, I mean, I, you can know that by me telling you, like I'm telling you now, now you say, oh, I know this, <laughs> you know, you know it in your head, right? Okay, great. But no, this is different. This is a, a knowing not in your head. This is a feeling. This is just a being. You know, I mean, you just are your twin flame. You are that same person and you just know it in the depths of you. And so therefore, it doesn't even matter. That physical form, what they're saying, thinking, doing, feeling, where they are located, whatever, is not even your twin flame. It doesn't affect you if they're right next to you, like I said, or on the other side of the planet. It doesn't matter. And energetically, that's the space you need to achieve in order to even be able to choose to be with your twin flame in a physical relating experience. Um, now, why people get to that space and then choose not to be with their twin flame after working so hard and getting there, right? Um, is there's many different reasons. Everyone's journey in that regard is unique and individual, like it is, you know, any kind of choices they're making in the physical world. How it all manifests physically is unique and individual to everyone's unique journey. Um, so, you know, there's many people, many students of mine chose not to be with their twin flames, even though they could have, it was their choice. They chose not to because they were married and they had families and, you know, they just chose that it would be, you know, just to remain married and just to be, you know, with, with their families intact. And that's perfect. Oftentimes, another thing that's very common, it's very common is that, and this can happen, you know, even before you choose to be with your twin flame, this can happen. Um, you know, you don't even have to get to that whole space of now with your twin flame for this to happen. But what's happening is as you're working through this journey, remember you're doing, you're doing a couple things. You're aligning, shifting closer into alignment with your soul and you're balancing. Well, the shifting closer into alignment with your soul part, um, you know, that means obviously you're shifting closer into your true soul vibration. And so in so doing, you magnetize in, other than your twin flame, but 
other people, situations, and things that are more in resonance and in line with your true soul vibration. And of course, your true soul vibration is your truth, right? It's your true passions, your true purpose. And, you know, so these people and situations and things that you're going to be magnetizing in, you're regardless of what the twin, of the twin flame part of your journey, they're all going to be more conducive and supportive of all things that, you know, that that you really truly are passionate and care about right your truth and so this also includes other people who you resonate with on multiple levels so your twin flame is your exact resonance and that's the only physical being that is but like you very often and this happens to most a lot of people um, I'm not saying it has to but it does you will magnetize in someone that resonates with you on it feels like every single level, just like your twin flame, the only difference is they are not your same energy, right? But they're as close as you can get other than your twin flame. And when that happens, it's like you feel like just as connected with this person as your twin flame. And a lot of times people choose this person, this relationship, um, because, you know, let's face it, we are still human beings. We are still living in this physical world, you know, and you know, you're always going to have <laughs> at least one foot in, right? While we're still incarnated here in this lifetime. And you know, sometimes, many times it's enticing. We're used to this. People want to have a normal relationship, right? With someone they want to have that. They like that. I mean, you know, who doesn't like that? Um, everyone in the world is searching for that, right? Um, and you know, with your twin flame, it's never going to be back to that normal that you had. It's, it's a different thing. And, you know, so sometimes people just want that normal and that is perfect. That's totally fine. And again, their decision. The whole point here, though, guys, is that it's you get to the point where you choose. Those are the operative words. You choose. It's your choice, yours, okay? It's not that, you know, you're going to be there waiting and, oh, you know, if my twin flame returns or, like, you know, if someone else comes in, you know, no. You're gonna choose. This is this is you. This is your journey of self love, and what's a big part of love that often gets overlooked and um, is never discussed is the power part. Love is power, and it's self empowerment, and that's exactly what this journey is. Self love is self empowerment, and so it, it puts you. This journey puts everything into your own hands, into your choice. You choose, and so it's gonna be your choice. You know, all you need to focus on is yourself, and then everything will come to you. And then you just choose, and you go with your truth and what you your truth is in that moment. And it's all perfect, no matter what you choose. Okay, you're not gonna be messing up some like cosmic, um, you know, scheduling or any kind of like mission that you guys have to do or anything. Remember, that's not now. That's not yet at all. This is just we're just. We're just a bunch of humans trying to get through this first part leg of our ascension, which happens to involve our twin flame because our twin flame is us. And this first part is us loving our, learning to love ourselves, and that includes self-empowerment. So just remember, it's always your choice. It's going to be your choice. Once you, you balance and you align, it's going to be your choice. It really is now too, but you know, sometimes it gets a little foggy with all the fear-based energy in there. But it is. It's always, it's always your choice. It's always you and about you. So um, I hope that answers that question for you guys. Again, uh, tune in tomorrow because I'm going to do a follow-up question of this as the second question of this week. So thanks for watching, guys. Keep your questions coming any way you can. I may not always respond to them. I usually don't. Truthful, truth be told, <laughs> I'm too busy to respond to all comments and stuff, but be sure, be assured that I am reading them, I am seeing them, and um, I will eventually get to them in a video if I think they're conducive you know, for helping, you know, the majority of people out there. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Lots of love.